Um, so we're sat on the back of the truck here, just looking at the selection of road calls um, that I've got. It's like all things with deer stalking, you probably only need one or two, but you tend to collect several different things when you go to the game fair or whatever. Um, but first of all, when you're gonna call the road deer up, you need to know what the wind's doing. So obviously if it's a stiff breeze, you can tell yourself which way the wind's coming from. But if it's just a light, gentle breeze, then you can check the wind with uh, the wind powder. Or if you use a lighter, and that'll blow in the direction that the wind's coming from. So they're quite handy to have in your pocket. Um, and then we've got probably the most common call of the lot, and probably the best one as a, a starter call for everybody. It's the Bootalo call, which you just operate by pressing down with your thumb. I've got a little lanyard on this because I usually have it hanging off my binoculars or my belt when I'm out stalking. Um, and I probably use it more for stopping deer to take the shot on them than actually trying to call deer up. Uh, when you buy it, I have a little ball on the end here, which just gives it a slightly different um, pitch. But obviously hanging on my uh, binoculars, it, it's fallen off straight away. So that does a, a little fawn sound a louder doe sound, and then the terror call where you press it right down at the end, which is like a doe in distress or being chased by another buck. So with all the calls, you're trying to imitate a roe kid that's calling to its mother, and hopefully the doe comes to see that it's okay, and a buck will come in to see if the doe's there, or you're making a sound like a doe calling to its kid, or obviously in distress, in which case the territorial buck might come and have a look. So we've got the Bootalo, and then we've got several calls which are reeds which are operated by the mouth. This is a Bootalo Mundblatter, um, which has got a different sound on either end. So it's probably those two that I use the most. This one's louder than the, the thumb operated Bootalo, so if you need to get a longer distance on the call, go for the mouth ones. There's a Nordic Row call which is really loud. Uh, this is a wooden version of the, the plastic one. Uh, the little Hubertus Cherrywood call, which I find best for Munt Jack. You can change the pitch of it with a little dial at the top here. <coughs> wind it right in. <coughs> or obviously wind it right out. <coughs> um, and then there's this little set of calls here, which I've never really used to be honest but I think someone gave them to me. Again, one does a, a kid sound and one does more of a doe sound. And then obviously, like all things with deer stalking or fishing or anything with field sports, we all like to have a go at making stuff ourselves. So there's a bit of a homemade row call out of a row antler, which is okay, but it doesn't work as well as the shop ones. Uh, and then another one out of a muntjac antler, uh, which has got a little um, pet toy squeaker in the end of it which sounds okay, but it's probably not as good as the, the, um, the proper calls that you buy from the shop. So that's it really. So those are the calls that I have. Uh, like I say, always have the buttolo on you and then take a, another mouth call with you as well. And uh, that should be all you need to get going.